Dinoco's all mine. Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, the poor guy, damaged by Chick Hicks, creating that classic Dinoco is all mine. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, suggested by Interstate290. Thank you so much for your suggestion. As always, if you guys want to suggest cars in the comments, you can do so in the comments. But, um, I would say hold off on your suggestions for a few more days because pretty soon I'll be announcing and explaining the rules for this year's 25 days of suggestions, an event that I do, uh, during December. This will be the second year of it. Um, so I just say hold out, hold off on suggesting cars until later on in a few days when I announce 25 days of suggestions and then you guys can see what you can do. Basically, the thing is... Each day from December 1st to Christmas, December 25th, I review a car suggested by you guys. It's like my gift to you guys for always being so great. And yeah, um, you could suggest cars. But again, just hold off until I go through all the details on that in a couple of days. That's just the basic synopsis for what it is. Anyway, guys, let's get started with the review. This is his 2007 variant, I believe. Yeah, um, it's whatever his first release was, this is it. You can see the raised eyelids. This is, of course, my childhood RPM. It would probably be nice to get a replacement. He's got a really kind of worried expression, it looks like. His grill there, RPM, nighttime backfire suppressant. If we could get a... There we go. His lights there and all the bolts, which are actually, unlike the Cars 3 cars, molded onto him. I'm not sure that's something that's done to this day. Um, let's see what else. Of course, you have even more dents all over the place. I feel like this is going to be like my review of Old School Ramon, where I'm just spending most of the review pointing out all of his dents. Really nice stripe of multiple colors there. Light year tires. I love how his tires look. Wow, look at those wheels. That joke is like a year old now. That was from my, I believe, original Chase Race A Lot review. Nitro Piston Cup, Revolting, Mood Springs, Octane Gain, No Stall. Vitaline, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leak Less, Retread, and Clutch Aid there for the secondary sponsors. Usually, I oh, an RPM is there and shouldn't be. Usually, on my older cars, their decals are sort of peeling off. Like, on my original version of the King, for example, the dents have, like, forced his decals down the side of the car for some reason. Number 64, the backfire coming out of the four. The blue on the back actually becomes this stripe here. Got some orange on the bottom that, again, stretches over there. RPM logos. And the back looks terrible. RPM nighttime backfire present. I'm hoping on getting some more Cars 1 Piston Cup racers soon uh, to expand my collection on them and probably get a replacement RPM next time he's out in stores. RPM. And then there's the other side. Of course, he's not that bad when it comes to dents, but, uh, oh boy. I do want to bring up. Bruce Miller, the car's 3 RPM for a very brief comparison of how the logo evolved. And then Barry D. Pedal, who I do have, he just is actually on the other side of the room right now. So here's his, his uh, box. Here's his package from the Next Gen 4 pack. You can see Barry is just completely different from those guys. Uh, see, so just like I was saying earlier, completely different than the other guys. He's blue. And, um, yeah, he's just a total different car from the other RPM racers. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.